Do you want to learn how to turn a boring grid like this into a cool off canvas carousel that goes beyond the screen left and right or maybe just on one side like this one and on mobile by the way as you can see that works perfectly and then you're at the right address because that's exactly what this tutorial is about you will need elementor pro for this because this works with the carousel widget and the loop carousel widgets which are both part of elementor pro so if you're still in the free version and after this video you want to get to the pro version then consider using my affiliate link in the description i get a commission and it helps me to make these videos okay let's get into it I have a blank page here with just a, a container and a little title in it. And so let's drag in a carousel widget and inside of here you can drag in anything. So let's put some content in here. Okay, so we now put some content in here. You can see there's an image, there's a heading and there's another heading with just a title. And this is the basic carousel that you get from Elementor, but it's a little bit boring. The icons here are very small. They're overlapping and transparent. And then you have these dots here at the bottom. So the first step to get to this design is to create these kinds of buttons here at the top. And you can do that simply by playing around with the settings in Elementor. This is actually already built in to the carousel widget and the loop carousel widget. Uh, so here in navigation, you will see some settings. So you can put this button over here, you can put it on the right. It will then exactly overlap. <laughs> so to make them a little bit more visible, uh, first go to style, go to navigation, and then give that navigation a background color. For example, my accent color. There you go, now it has an accent color. Let's make it a little bit bigger by 16, okay. Uh, let's give it some border radius. Let's make them rounded like that, 50. And then here you can also put them outside. You get something like this, but if you keep them inside, then go to content navigation, you can play around with these values over here. So let's first put them both up like that, yes. And then let's put them up even more. So we can just use this slider to drag them. In this case, I want to align it to my title, obviously. So I'm going to put them on 88. Uh, there we go. I'm going to copy this value and also put this for the other button. But then the previous button, of course, should be on the left. So then we're going to play with the X value over here. And uh, there we go. Put it on where it looks good. Let's put it on 70. And then these dots here at the bottom, uh, they also don't look the best. So let's delete them uh, by going down, pagination, just turn it from dots to none to hide them completely. Okay, so now it already looks 10 times better. But there's one more thing that I would add here, and that is that our heading widget, it's actually as wide as the buttons. And so I'm a little bit scared that it will create problems when people try to click on different devices. So I'm just gonna go to advanced and make sure that my heading is just 80% wide so that it's never overlaps with the buttons because these buttons are actually part of this carousel widget, not the heading. Okay, let's now apply that offsetting effect in step two. Okay, so in this step, we wanna make sure that Elementor is showing the stuff that it's hiding because it's actually already hiding in there. So we're basically gonna unhide it. And in order to do that, we need a little piece of code. So I wrote a blog article uh, where you can basically copy the uh, code. Just go over here and just copy the code. And then you go into your carousel widget, advanced, scroll down, custom CSS, and paste it. And there you go. Now it works. So what is happening here? It's basically saying show everything that's hiding. But if you would just have that first part of the code, this first card would also 
go here to the left, which is not what you want in this case, because we only want it on the right side. And so we're just adding this piece of text in here to make sure that it's clipping or cropping the left side over here. So it only shows it on the right side. And there we go. Super easy. Let's check responsiveness to see if this works. And there you go, it works perfectly on a tablet. You can change the amount of slides you wanna show. Maybe you wanna show three, right? Also totally possible. And also on mobile, you can also change the amount of slides. I think one on mobile is enough, but you can definitely do two. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is maybe a little bit too much, but you can of course also change the uh, height of the images. There you go, that looks quite cool on mobile. And if you wanna make sure that you show a little bit more of the next card, then you should mess around with your box container width because that defines how much is showing from uh, the next slide. And also if your buttons here are fighting with your heading, then you can just go into your carousel, go down, navigation, and then just push the buttons down and play around with the positioning again in order to make them easily clickable. So you have the full creative freedom to place them anywhere. Okay, so this solution is great. I think it gives you the most amount of freedom. Let's now do it for both sides. Let's now make a duplicate of this one. Okay, so in this step, we're gonna change the code a little bit in order to make sure that we also uh, show the cards on the left. Uh, we can go in here, custom CSS, and then we're just gonna copy that 200% code and we're also gonna make sure to paste it over here. And now if we press next, you will see that this card will also go to the left. And there's one part that I'm not exactly sure about, and that's if we actually need this last part of the code, because without it, it also seems to work. So guys, please let me know in the comments uh, if there are some developers, if you want to view everything on both sides. Let's quickly test it. The first one seems to work. And the second one already displays full width. So if we don't need this last part of the code, then I will also update the blog post uh, for the off canvas on both sides. And as you can see right here, it also works with the loop carousel, which is great. Uh, here I just created a slightly different looking template. I used the call to action widget. So you get a slightly different effect like this, but yeah, it just works as well. So I don't know about you, but these kinds of things make me really happy because it takes your websites from boring and predictable to something that looks a little bit more custom and less blocky. And if you wanna dive deeper into Elementor, you wanna become an Elementor Pro, then you can check out my course uh, on Elementor Pro. On this page, you can find all the information about this course. Already 1500 students have taken the course with great reviews, which you can also find on this page. And if you're more interested in learning web design, then you can check out my web design course. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one.